So this is just a quick video about how to uh, update patches on a Blackstar ID Core amp. I've had this one a couple of years. I initially just saved all the presets, like I make sounds on it manually and save them to the hardware banks, but then I realized there was actually more slots than that if you access them through a foot pedal. So I got this foot pedal and then realized, according to all documentation, that the software that Blackstar made to enable you to program buttons D and E on this five button foot switch required Microsoft Silverlight when you try to get that it's no longer supported or made or something. So basically even though I just bought this like a year ago there was no software support for it so I could only use buttons A, B, and C. That was frustrating. So then recently Blackstar put out Architect, a new software, and I was like cool that will work to enable me to like make patches, backup patches, program this foot pedal, and it does but I had some troubles with it connecting to the amp. So someone on a forum said, buy a higher quality or different data transfer oriented USB cable from Sweetwater. And I did, and that actually seemed to solve that problem. So that cable is attached to the amp right now, where it says USB, that type and it's a mini USB, not a micro. And then here's the Architect software for PC. Now that I've solved the connecting to the amp, that's not a problem. But for whatever reason, the amp likes to just reset itself without me doing anything that I'm aware of. I go and look for my patches, they're gone. So I made a backup through this uh, in June, last time I reprogrammed my patches from scratch, now that I have the software. And I went looking today, so if you go to this menu up here, down here it shows, um, whoops, we gotta turn on there. So this is what's in the amp right now. These are backups that I've made from the past. So in this space right here, it needs to have my backup. Oh, there they are. So I click on it, there's, there's my backup. And then you just load this. Um, like right click, save to device. And that's going to put them, yeah, see so that overrides my current stuff. So this is how you get back the presets that you've saved on your computer in case something goes wrong, which seems to be often with this amp. So now when I look under device, I've got my non patches there again. So just for, this is partly for my future reference because I seem to keep having problems with this every three or four months. It's also to help you all out. So I hope that's helpful.